Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you the locations of all enigmatic, enigmatic pages. Okay, I already gotten two of them by accident, but anyway, I will show you all the location. Basically, if you have done the world quest, book of esoteric revelations, you would have gotten three of them. So, I suggest you do the quest first. The quest will mark the location for you, but anyway, you can still collect them even if you don't want to do the quest yet. So, let's go here, teleport here. This is the first location. Head to south, ignore these enemies, and then head into a cave. Inside the cave, you encounter enemy and a chest that is locked. So just defeat the enemies and you will be able to open the chest and get one of the page. Okay, the second location is just close to the quest area. This one, if you've done the quest, you can go here. Otherwise, just teleport here. And then head to north. And you need to attack this red stone, which will fire away and break the stone here. And the chest will spawn. You can get another page from here. Okay, the third location is here. Just go to this teleport waypoint. And then to your right, you'll find actually a purple circle. The enemies here, you defeat them and you'll be able to get the chest which contain another page of the enigmatic. Okay, once you've done that, you can head back to here. Um, this one. It's just close to the quest area. Okay, just move forward to the east. And it's just right here. Another page, and remember to take this chest, it will give you the strange part which you will need to buy another page from an NPC. Okay, the NPC is here, this one. So just go to this teleport waypoint and find the NPC. But the NPC will only spawn when you have done the world quest ancient colors. So remember to do it for this NPC to spawn. You can buy a lot of stuff from her using the strange part. And we can buy the animatic page here as well. Okay. And you've done this. Head to the next location. Okay, the next location is here. Actually, this location involves another world quest, the end of the Anam houses. But it's okay if you don't do the quest, you can still get the page. So just teleport here. And then move to northwest. It's inside this room. Just go inside and investigate. Don't get another page. Okay. The next page is actually on top of this tower. This one. It's on top of here. If you have done the quest, you can go to another teleport waypoint. Otherwise, you have to climb this. To get the page, but assuming you have done the world quest, you can teleport here. And the place is flooded with water, so you can just move on the water, and then head to north east a little bit. Just go above the tower, get close to it. You find another chest. 
you can get the chest but basically we need to investigate to get another page you can get the chest as well okay to the next location this next location you will only be able to unlock them once you've done the world quest a quest type map Okay, I'll attach the information in the description, but go to this teleport waypoint and head forward to the south direction and basically we want to go up here. We can use this portal to go up. Just enter. Okay, the room is actually close by default you can open here and you'll find another chest here but the page is not inside the chest the page is here this one just investigate get another page okay to the next location continue from here go down and basically we want to go inside the place of the book just read okay just move forward it's on your left side here this place i've already gotten them but you can investigate it to get a page this should be page number let me see this one the page number 11 okay, you can investigate here to get it okay if you've done the world quest initial facts there are actually two chests here the one on the left will give you a key this key we will need this key to open uh, one of the places where we will get two animatic page Okay, anyway, just head out here, teleport here, and swim up and head to the south direction. Just get up from here. You can investigate here to get another page, but I've also gotten them. I think it's the page number 4, if I remember correctly. It should be the page number 4, this one. Okay, once you've got this page, head back to the water, dive down. Go inside this door. Okay, go up again. And then head back down. Go towards the northeast direction. There's another opening here. Just get up from here. And there is a place where we'll need the key that we obtained just now to open. Okay. Just open this place. Head inside. Open again. And it's on the left side here. There's one page here. And another page a little bit further away. This one. Okay. A little bit hard to interact, but yeah, just investigate this and you'll get the last page. With that, you should have gotten all of the required page. I The first three pages I already insert, so there's only nine pages left here. Okay. Once you've gotten all the pages, you can go back to the quest area 
but if you have not done the quest though, you need to do it. Otherwise you, you will not be able to use the page. The World Quest Book of Esoteric Revelation. Okay. Just decipher page and insert all of them. But th don't read them first. Just insert them first. I'll fast forward here a bit because it's just insert. You can hold on on reading them because you can read them in chronological order once you have inserted all of them. Okay, once you've inserted all the page, three chests will spawn. You can obtain them. Actually, every three page will give you one chest. So with 9 pages, they will give you 3 chests. You can read here and check on each section to read the story in chronological order. It's quite interesting. So you should read them. But anyway, that's the end of it. Hope it helps you. See you next time. Bye bye.